Who are you? Hey, if you got a problem, go talk to our diplomatic representative. Don't bother me with it. If you got a problem, you will solve it. Check out the base while the DJ revolves it. Question mark? I don't know the, I don't know the lyrics. Oh. Lorgal. Well, well, well. Republic soldier. I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank it's you. Over here. Restricted access, huh? Can I... Oops. Can I, uh... Yeah, Republic security clearance is required to enter. Fair enough. Uh... Interrogation officer, we'll, we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. Peter so you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Possibly. Huh, good luck, you're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode right. the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. Uh... Terminal sequences? The strings of numbers that end the code sequences. If we could complete those strings, we would have the key to their encryption system. Uh, the encryption system is composed for. of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. Yeah, no I've ruined kidding. a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Amazing. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. How on earth did you get a bunch of... A bunch of Sith pass cards, blank pass cards to use? terminal. Let's talk to him again. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, you can. Tell me about the Sith encryption matrices. The Sith encryption scheme on these cards is based on a sequence of simple mathematical principles. Yeah. We've managed to decode the majority of the encryption algorithm, but the final segments of the terminal sequences elude us. If you think you're able, you can try to break the code on the card. Don't worry if you happen to ruin the card. The box we captured has a whole bunch of them. You can I help you with anything then. else? <sighs> Nothing more for now. Okay, sure. Come back if you need anything. All right. Okay, so I don't know whether to attempt to interrogate the prisoner first before I do this. So I'm going to quick save here, and then I we said we were going to do this. We should go and. Let's go deal with Lorgal, how about that? Yes, human. Have you come to sneer and jeer like the others? Come to see Lorgal, the great liberator, caged like an animal? Liberator? You're nothing but a murderer. Kill a million people with a mighty star cruiser, and you are a war hero. Kill a hundred with a thermal detonator, and you are a terrorist. It's not the same. You kill civilians and children. You are obviously blind to the Republic chains shackled around your neck. You cannot see me for the hero I am. You think I am nothing but a criminal who deserves death. There are many who want me dead, including the guards in this room, but the Republic doesn't kill prisoners without a trial. That is why I am protected. The energy cage keeps me safe from blaster and blade. The Republic will keep me alive for transfer to Coruscant. And then all the galaxy will witness my trial. You cannot touch me in here, human. No conventional weapon can penetrate this cage. Nothing can stop me from spreading my manifesto during my trial. Well, that's where you're wrong, kiddo. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, the choices. I've got better things to do than to argue with prisoners, though. Yes, leave me. You are a tool of the Republic, a slave who cannot even see your own chains. But do not fear. Someday, I or someone like me will destroy the Republic and free you all. Yeah, that'll be the day. Yeah, okay. I want to see about this control terminal. And, uh, maybe this guy will... Oh, no, he's the, uh, the other officer, isn't he? Control terminal. Let's slice the computer. One spike ain't too much. Reprogram the cage to kill the prisoner. Uh, uh. Interesting. Force choke him, force kill him. Seems wrong. Does seem wrong. But, uh, he's a terrorist scum anyway. <laughs> I know that's the dark side talking, but... Revit does not give a shit about this guy, so... Yeah, get fucked. Success. Prisoner termination sequence set to engage in ten seconds. Entry added. Experience points received. 180. Dark side points gained. Items lost. No! Yes. Our slow fall is, is beginning, perhaps. Lorgal is dead. Now you just have to return to Hulas and collect his bounty. Log off. Isn't that a shame? All right. I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. Uh, Please refer any money. questions to our diplomatic corps. Easy Thank you. money and uh, against the republic. Too dangerous to be left alive. I'm going to quick save and I'm going to talk to the intelligence officer. So you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. What did they do to him? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Yes. I'll interrogate him now. While the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion, we have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What do I have to work with? What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. A catch? Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth, sir. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. I detect a pattern here. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, you may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started, then? Yes. Let's give it a shot. Hey, you. Wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. Ugh. 
interrogate him. Oh, what do you want? All right. Let's try a good cop first, right? Relax, I'm not here to threaten you. You're not? <laughs> you... Lies. You work for the Republic. If you talk, we can make it worth your while. Ha! <laughs> worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. We're the only ones who will take you in now. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. I am Sith. I will never betray them. Your Republic is weak, and will soon fall at any rate. Let's see here. I don't want to hurt you unless you make me. Please. Please don't hurt me. Let's try something else. Oh, what do you want? We know about your companion. What? What companion? Perhaps we would give you back to the Sith, but keep him. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily. But they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... It's Zeta 2456980 Alpha. Just no more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long or they might learn that he's been captured. Well, that was easy. Jeez. Uh, uh. Good job in getting the passcode out of him. I was sure he couldn't be broken. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it took? <laughs> I expected us to have to do the ridiculous... Man, the Sith are not sending their best. Um, can we still work on this guy's stuff? Can I help you with anything? Not yet, no. Okay, sure. Come back if you need anything. Let's do all this stuff, shall we? Let's just keep all of our options open. System booting, status pending, continue. Loading re-op, rep-op, layer, success, command query. Slice Republic system, one spike. Alright. I have 51 spikes, so... Unloading rep-op, layer, success, command query, open submarine bay doors. Well, well, well. What a secret. What a juicy little bit of information. Only 50 spikes away. Can we t can we gain 50 spikes somewhere? No. I imagine that will be open to us in good time. Disable the local power grid. 125 spikes. That's interesting. How about we do something a little more reasonable? Access restricted data archives. Accessing data archives. Success. Continue. Downloading Sunry Incident Archive. Success. Continue. Well, shit. Must be some sort of this must be some sort of secret recording of the Sunry murder. Authorized Phi Prereq 89413. Unloading rep op layer. Success. Oof. Unloading system. Journal entry added. Experience points received. 360. Items received. Items lost. Uh, that's pretty conclusive on what happened there. He shot her in the back. Uh, Sunry murder trial. As Arbiter, you must defend Sunry to the best of your ability. However, you have found a data recording that clearly shows Sunry killing the Sith woman Alassa. 
Can you continue? Can you continue your role of arbiter impartially, knowing that your client has committed such a crime? Ooh, that's some juicy shit right there. Um, what did we gain out of that? I'm confused. Did we lose some? Oh, Sith hangar key. A key to the Sith reserved hangar in Otto City. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna quick save after that. That was that was also added to the game. That whole cutscene. Uh, that was a mod. That uh, very very nice mod. Very beautiful mod. Uh, before it was just I think text that added it that uh, let you know what had gone on. But that was so much better. I like that. Um, let's give this uh, pass card a crack, shall we? Maybe? Question mark. System booting, system status pending. Let's decrypt one of these pass cards. Loading decryption layer, success, continue. Accessing additive matrix. Terminal sequence. So one, two, four, seven, eleven. 16. One is double of two. Uh, two times two is four. It ceases being... It's additive, though. Okay. Let me see. One. One, two, two. Four, three, seven, four, eleven, five. Okay, one, one, two, two, four, three, seven, five, seven, four, I'm sorry, eleven, five. 16 and 6 is 22. Terminating additive matrix, continue. Accessing subtractive matrix. 21 minus 3 is 18. Um, okay, so 3, 2, 1, 1. This is weird. Very odd. Twenty one minus three is eighteen. Eighteen minus two is sixteen. Sixteen minus one is fifteen. Fifteen minus zero is fifteen. Fifteen plus one is sixteen. 16 plus 2 is 18. Accessing multi multiplicative matrix. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. Accessing divisive matrix. 128 divided by 2 is 64. 64 divided by 2 is 32. 32 divided by 2 is 16. 16 divided by 8 or divided by 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Alright. Exponential matrix. Exponents. One to the power of thirty two. Uh, is that what I'm thinking of, though? One to the power of thirty two is thirty two. Um, thirty two 
32 to the power of... Exponential growth. I don't remember this anymore. 25. To the power. Oh, this one I'm fucked up for sure. It's a good thing. I've got a list over here. I give up on this one. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the guide here. Uh, this one is six. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm not good at exponents. Logarithmic matrix. I don't even know what that means. Uh, terminal. One zero minus eight three minus thirty two five minus one twenty eight. One. What does that mean? So one times zero is one minus eight times three. I one zero one times zero zero. That's zero minus eight so minus eight times three is minus twenty four. Minus 32 times 5. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Let's look at the sheet. It's 128, apparently. No, nope, rather, uh, 7. Terminating logarithmic matrix, continue. Card reprogramming, success, continue. Reloading reop player, success. Command query, let's log out. Loading rip off layer success continue on the system. Items received. Ray. All of the options are open to us now. We've got the murder recording as well. I guess that's what was supposed to be in our inventory. Recording of an older man murdering a young Sith woman. Well, we have the evidence, at least. We're smart enough to download it because maybe it'll go missing. Sith base pass card. There we go. A pass card used to enter the Sith base in Auto City. All right. Well, we got it. Let's uh, talk to what's his name over here. Hey, great! You sliced the encryption on those cards. They change the codes regularly, so you'll have to use it pretty soon or not at all. Yeah, yeah. Pretty soon or not at all. Well, we got more ways in anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's everything in here, I think. Let's head over to Roland and see uh, see what he has to say. Have you managed to retrieve the data no. from our droid no, in the haven't. Sith base? Not yet. Time is a critical factor. Yeah. We cannot allow the Sith to decode that data recording, or our operations on Manon will be compromised. Well, we can go right in through the front door if we want to. We can carve our way through the back door if need be. Um, district. We've got, uh, we've got that strange man over here still. Which we should, uh, go and talk to, I think. It's in here, though. Hive Arcs, Visitor's Hotel, Republic Enclave. the most hospitable section of town, I find. Shady Rodian. Why do you bother me, human? I do not wish to speak to you. Uh, just want 
to ask you a few questions. I'm not here to give you knowledge. Do business with me or leave. Business. I trade in some Zog cards for those that have interest. If you have interest, then we can do business. Otherwise, leave. Let's see what you've got. Very well. Okay. Now I totally don't remember uh, what the hell the Zot cards I needed from uh, from this fellow. So I suppose I should uh, I should check, shouldn't I? Yes. I shall be right back. All right. So uh, we need minus ones. I'll buy one of those, even though I'm not gonna really use any minus cards anymore. We also need uh, minus fives as well. Two of those. And we need a plus minus five card, which I don't think he has, so... I could sell him other things. Don't see a point. Um, let's close. I'm sure he has nothing else to say. Why do you bother me, him, and I do not wish to speak to you. Why are you just standing here in a corner? I'm here for my own reasons. Those who know of me and wish to do business, no. I can be found here. You'll either do business with me or leave. Fine, I'll leave. Good. Just a rude, rude fellow. Okay, so... I guess this over here is to the east. So, I'm gonna go this way. And, uh... this as well. I don't know. I don't know if we should stop here or keep going. I think I'm kind of running out of space on my hard drive, so maybe we will call it quits here. Maybe pick this up tomorrow. I can edit together one of the videos tonight instead. Alright guys, well, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Rag Plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic next time. We're going to explore Otto East and possibly break into the, uh, the Sith base over there. See you soon.